Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of Hard Disk Drive Solve Problems. In this session, we will solve some more numerical problems. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Observe this question. Consider a disk with a sector size of 512 bytes, 2000 tracks per surface, 50 sectors per track, 5 double sided platters and average seek time of 10 milliseconds. Now there are 5 questions pertaining to this particular organization. We will solve them one by one. But before beginning the solution, let's understand the organization. So this is our disk pack. Now since there are 2000 tracks per surface, that means there are 2000 cylinders. Thereafter, there are 50 sectors per track. That means all the tracks have 50 sectors in them. Now in this entire disk pack, there are 5 double sided platters. That means all the 5 platters have 2 surfaces in each one of them. So this is pretty much about the organization. Now let's move on to the first question. So the first question states, given the following statements. So these two statements are given. And we need to find out which one of these is true or false. Now coming to the first statement, it states that disk has a total number of 2000 cylinders. Well, it is true. Why? Because there are 2000 tracks per surface. So that means there are 2000 cylinders as well. Now statement 2 states, 51200 bytes is not a valid block size for the disk. Now, in order to check whether this particular statement is true or false, we actually have to do some calculations. So, let's find the solution. Now, here we are encountering a new term, block size. Well, a block for a disk is a contiguous memory space, which may be comprised of a single sector or several sectors. However, the block size will never go beyond the size of the track. Now in the question itself, the sector size has been provided as 512 bytes and the number of sectors per track is 50. So the track capacity is 50 multiplied by 512 bytes, which amounts to 25600 bytes. Now this is the size of the entire track. So the block size cannot go beyond this. Hence, the statement 2 that is 51200 bytes, which is greater than this track size, is not a valid block size for the disk, is also true. Now let's move on to the second question. If T is the track capacity in kilobytes and S is the capacity of each surface in kilobytes, then we have to find out the value of T and S. So let's solve it. Now while solving the question number 1, we calculated the track capacity, which in this case is T. However, we calculated the track capacity in terms of bytes. Now since the unit is in bytes, if we divide 25600 by 1024, we can get the unit as kilobytes, which results in 25 kilobytes. Therefore, the track capacity in terms of kilobytes is 25. Now, since there are 2000 tracks per surface, therefore the surface capacity S can be calculated as 2000 multiplied by 25 kilobytes, which results in 50,000 kilobytes. Therefore, the value of T is 25 kilobytes and value of S is 50,000 kilobytes. Now, let's move on to the question number 3. If the disk rotates at 5400 RPM, then approximately what is the maximum rotational delay? So let's solve it. Now 5400 RPM means 5400 rotations in 60 seconds. Therefore, one rotation will take 60 upon 5400 seconds, which amounts to 1 by 90 seconds. Now observe, we are to find out the maximum rotational delay, not the average one. So in case of maximum rotational delay, the time taken for one rotation is the value. So the maximum rotational delay is 
0.011 seconds. So this is our answer. Now let's move on to the next question. If one track can be transferred per rotation, then what is T data transfer? That means what is the data transfer rate? So let's solve it. Now just now we derived one rotation takes 1 upon 90 seconds. And earlier we also derived the track capacity that is 25 kilobytes. Therefore, we can state in 1 upon 90 seconds, 25 kilobytes of data is transferred. Therefore, in 1 second, 90 multiplied by 25 kilobytes data is transferred and 90 multiplied by 25 kilobytes is 2250 kilobytes. So, this is the data transfer rate. Now, let's observe the next question. We are to find out what is the capacity of the disk. So, let's solve it. Now, the sector size is given as 512 bytes. Now, since there are 50 sectors per track, therefore, the track size is 50 multiplied by 512 bytes, which gives us 25 kilobytes. Then again, there are 2000 tracks per surface. Therefore, the surface size is 2000 multiplied by 25 kilobytes, which gives us 50,000 kilobytes. Now, the platters are double-sided. Therefore, the size of each platter is 2 multiplied by 50,000 kilobytes, that is 1 lakh kilobytes. Finally, there are 5 such platters. Therefore, the disk capacity can be calculated as 5 multiplied by 1 lakh kilobytes, that is 5 lakh kilobytes. So, this is the capacity of the disk. Alright, people. That will be all for this session. With this session, we have come to the end of our hard disk drive solve problem series. I hope now all the different types of numerical problems of hard disk drive is clear to you. In the next session, we will observe the remaining fixed auxiliary storages. So, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.